Rami. He lives in Gaza. He have a horrible life, but like, you know, it's like, it's not that bad. I know he has a cousin in the West Bank. He's living a good life. He wake up in the morning and he found out that he was kidnapped by three settlers. He was burned alive by kerosene and he was forced to drink the kerosene. His name is Muhammad Abu Khudira. And this guy, this, uh, this Rami is being approached by him. He's like, oh, join Hamas, join us, let's go kill us. No, 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 I don't want to kill. I was just, I'm going to live in Gaza. It's a life. But 97% of water is not good for human construction. Half of the population are anemic. Even the is not being treated and it goes into the shores of Israel. It's like, oh, that was bad. Oh, it's horrendous. horrible. Yeah. So, and then he, and he wakes up in the morning. He doesn't think about killing Jews the first thing in the morning. He thinks about being there at five o'clock at the first 50 people in the line for bread because if he doesn't, he will miss the food for his family. And he goes back and he finds a message saying that we are going to bomb your house. So he comes back, he loses his old family. Now tell me, what is a proportionate response for that? I don't know.